What's going on everyone and welcome back to Collect All Pets because for today guys we're going to be talking about all of the egg locations, where they're located, how to get them, how to climb those trees, go up those trees, parkour this and that, everything is going to be taught to you guys because it is a lot of fun and it's super easy once you get a hang of it. Now for the first egg you just have to jump on the rock boulder then on the tree, that's it, as simple as that. Now for this next part here, there's going to be two eggs. The green egg is the uncommon egg and the white one is the common. You can get the common on your own, but if you want to get the green egg on your own, you have to wait all the way until the jungle area for you to get this one. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that later on. However, if you want to get that and if you're in a hurry, if you ask people within the server to help you out, a lot are willing to do so if you can help them out in return. So this is how you're going to get the common egg. You're going to have to jump on Gemma's platform and then onto the shiny leaderboard platform and then to the platform that has the egg. That's as easy as it can get. However, like I said, if you wanted to get the green egg, you're just going to need one person to stand there and keep on jumping while you jump as well and it boosts you up to the egg. This is the other part that's also very easy within the meadow area. And this completes all the eggs that are located in the meadow, which is the first part of starting your journey and collect all pets. Now, moving on to the forest. Now, the forest is a lot of fun. It has these three trees in the middle, and those trees have the eggs on top of them. And they look very easy, but you can also get stuck on them if you don't stand in the right positions. You have to look at those branches, those ones that stick out. Now, inside the cabin is a common egg, and if you go behind the cabin, you're going to see an uncommon egg. This actually benefits players who are rebirthing and just new to the game because if you have pet luck and it kicks in, this pet becomes a rare pet. Didn't work out for me, but that's okay. Now, moving on to the desert. Desert is fairly easy. You got also these cactus plants all over the map. You got the boulder with the egg, you got the cabin. And this here is how you get the cactus. You have to jump on the shortest stem, which makes it easier to get to the egg on the top. Now, if you wanted to get the cabin, the egg that's on there, look at this little part right here. This is where you start off if you're a beginner player, but if you have really good speed ability, then you can do what I do right now. And I kind of am struggling here a bit, but eventually I can just jump on this, jump onto the top of the roof and get that egg on top of the cabin. And as I jump down from the cabin, I can get the egg that's inside it, which is a common egg. And after getting that egg, the next thing I can do is go right behind this cabin and I find another uncommon egg, just like the forest that had an uncommon egg behind the cabin. And here's the last egg on top of this boulder. You have to jump on that plant in order to get this. Or if you jump somewhere else and find an easier path. Now, if you cannot afford to get 50%, if you're a starting player, the other thing that you can do to help yourself and to improve in speed is to complete quests. And as you can see, you can keep on going and the more quests you complete, the better it is and the higher your speed. And of course, quests are, as you can see in the top of my screen where it says collect drops in the mountains. I need to do that to complete that quest. Now, moving on to the next map, which is the Arctic map. And this is really tricky because you need to have a lot of speed in order to make it through the ledge. And I'm going to show you first how to get these eggs. Very simple. They're on the map right there. As soon as you get this, what I usually do is I go behind the cabin. This is my path. I go behind the cabin. I get that egg inside the cabin and get the rare egg. And then after you get the rare egg, there's only one other thing to do. And this is one of the toughest parts, which is getting those eggs above. Now for this one here, you actually don't need to upgrade the one that we saw in the desert, the 50% speed. We don't need to upgrade it maxed. But if you can't do what you're about to see me do, by the way, the tree is really slippery. It's not just me jumping around in a frantic way. If you can't do that, then you have to keep on increasing your speed until you're able to do what I do. And this is how you jump on this ledge. Now there is another tactic that I see people doing in order to get the legendary egg that's right above there. And the way to do it is you're going to have to have assistance from at least two people. It's either a friend or it's either like someone in the server. A lot of people are really willing to help out. You just have to say like, hey, I'm trying to parkour this and get the legendary egg that's on top of this arctic area. And a lot of people will assist you as long as you can help them in return. 
Now this level is the beach area and it has six eggs. One of them is a bit difficult to get, but I'm gonna get into that later on. Let's open this and open the pathway, the first pathway, and get the rare egg. Now, after getting this egg, very easy, there's a cabana right there, or I guess it's called a cabana, and we're gonna get our first epic egg, and it's a ghostly tree folk, okay. Now, as you can see, there's another epic egg on top of this, and there's two ways to get it. You either do this through the jungle area, which I'm gonna show you guys in just a moment, or another person stands on top of your head, or actually you stand on top of their head, and you get the egg. That's the only two ways you can get this. Now, moving on, this area has three rare eggs. The first one is right in front of you, and then if you notice on the right side, a bit of sparkles from the water, get that egg, and there's another rare egg that's on the other side of this area. And we're approaching the mountains area and there are a total of seven eggs. One of them is a legendary, the rest are all epics. This is the first one and there are two other boulders that have eggs on them. But let's get this one in this little shrine first and then go ahead to the next. So these are fairly easy. You can just run around and get them and hopefully you get something awesome, something that you need. And then once you're done with that, if you can take a look at those rock platforms on the wall, you can see that there's a path. There's one egg, there's two epics, and then the last one is a legendary. So here's how you can do it. There's actually two ways. The easy way is if you can have help from a friend or maybe someone in server. All you have to do is stand by this fuse machine and have someone help push you up to that edge. Now, if you do this alone, all you have to do is jump on whoever is number one in this statue. Sorry to them if they're watching this, if they ever do. <laughs> so they just have to jump on that and then on this platform to the next until they get all these eggs. Now, if you're starting on this game, I believe that PC owners have a lot of difficulty playing this and it's much easier on mobile. That's what a lot of people say. But if you have a lot of difficulties, it may not be that. All you have to do is just go to the desert area, get to that platform that has the speed ability and gradually increase it until you can do this on your own. But one thing that you should watch out for is the ledge. The gray area has some sort of a tricky ledge where if you're too close, you and actually drop down. Here we are at the jungle area where you have to parkour these trees in order to get those legendary eggs and they can be super tricky, very frustrating and also annoying at times. But you have to bear in mind that if you have an account that's barely new to the game, you may not be able to do that unless you really struggle and maybe some trees is gonna be more difficult than the others. So this is the first egg, the epic egg and it is one out of four epic eggs in this area. There is a fifth one that you have to get by jumping on the ledge, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do that later on. For now, this is the third egg that you can get. And like I said, very easy, you just keep on jumping on the ledges. Now, this is the first tree I'm gonna attempt to do, and I'm gonna show you how to do it in the easiest way possible. Now, pay attention to the jump button, because what I'm gonna demonstrate to you guys is how I get up on those trees without even touching the jump button. So how we're gonna do that is go on this side of the tree, all the trees, they have a certain side that gives you a bit of a booster and the better your speed or the higher your speed, the higher you can jump without touching the jump button. To me, this is an easy method to get on the trees. If not, then you can stand on the ground and try to find that sweet spot where it boosts you up from the ground to the tree. And when you find that spot, it becomes very easy because all you have to do next is just focus on the middle part of the branches and keep on jumping until you get to the egg. And also bear in mind that the leaves can get in the way so you have to turn your camera angle to make sure that nothing stands in your way. Now this is an important tree because if you notice how many times I use the jump button, once, twice, that's it. I'm in between those two branches and then I can navigate my way easily until the egg. And the reason why is on the second part where I jumped, I'm gonna play this in slow motion for you guys to check this out. Check out the first jump. The second jump, I landed towards that area and it boosted me up. The jump button wasn't touched. I'm gonna play that again in even slower slow motion so you guys can check that out. Once again, that's the first jump. Here comes the second jump. And once I'm up there in the sky, I can just navigate towards landing between both branches. 
that makes life much easier for me because jumping little small jumps towards the top branches and then on the stems and the leaves and I can navigate easily towards the egg. Now if you try this for the first time, you may fall down and watch that, I hit the leaf and I didn't fall down, that, that's super lucky, <laughs> that doesn't happen. So once I got this egg, there's something that you have to also know about this tree. This tree also gives you access towards the stone wall towards my left. I find it easier if I can tilt my camera and look down towards those leaves to make sure that I land on them. And that was a bit lucky but <laughs> I didn't fall. Look at how close it is to the stone wall. That's why to me this is an easier tree. But there is another one that we're going to talk about. The one in the middle I do not recommend to even try. It is super difficult. So once we get up here, this is how I get this egg. It is also really difficult to get this egg. It may look easier in this video, but if you get a hang of it, you can actually do this with ease. So I'm checking out to make sure that I don't bump into those leaves and I jump and I move my cursor or actually my thumbstick to make sure that I land on the egg. Now, once I landed on this egg, people can find it like maybe more difficult to get back to where they started and they just drop down and do the whole process all over again. Now if you navigate yourself towards the left, you're going to find a legendary egg, but I'm not going to get that right now. I'm going to jump on the cabana and show you how to get this epic egg alone as a solo player without any assistance. Now I'm not going to edit this because I want to show you guys how I struggle on this tree. This tree, for whatever reason, seems like really slippery. And this is why I don't recommend using this tree to access the stone wall. However, a lot of people love this and find this to be much easier. I have a different opinion, it depends on other people. You can actually have too much speed and jump over the wall and then it becomes a bit annoying. So once you reach here, if you don't have the right speed to gain the momentum to make this jump, then you have to have assistance from a friend or from someone who's kind enough to help you from the server and you have to jump on their head towards the legendary egg and that's how you get it. And if you're a solo player and you have the right speed ability, then this is what you do. You have to run towards this edge and jump and that's how you get the legendary egg. Now remember when we first started our journey we said that there's an egg that you can't get as a solo player without any assistance unless you do something that you have to do towards the jungle area and this is it. This is how you get the uncommon egg. But by the time you reach jungle area you just don't need this egg at all you just don't have to worry about it. Now there are three eggs that I haven't showed you which is this is very obvious you just have to drop this barrier and you get that egg. That's very obvious. The second one is very easy, you just have to jump on the edge of those leaves and it could be tricky but if you get a hang of it then it becomes easy. And you just have to jump, touch that egg and that's how it hatches. Now this egg right above my head, I'm going to show you guys another thing because there's another booster side towards this tree. Now I'm going to show you guys this in slow motion what I did, this is one jump and look how high I went. If this doesn't work for you, keep on jumping and make sure that you don't do this slowly because if you go slow, then you're going to end up sitting on those benches below because those logs down there are benches and you can't get in between those two branches where we need to be. So this is the last egg of the jungle area and it's now time to move towards my favorite area which is the grotto. And in order to access this, you're going to have to have 100 shiny points at least to start with to access this area. Now that egg there is the legendary egg bouncing up and down. It looks like sparkles on the water but it's not. And let's see what we get from this egg. It's an uh, egg monster. There's actually a shiny version of that egg monster which they just recently released. They added 42 new shinies to the game. Now that was the first egg, this is the second egg and oh this is my favorite shiny legendary. The flame warrior has to be my favorite one in my opinion. Now the next egg is hidden in the grass. This actually confused me at first. I didn't know if there was an egg or not. Like I saw something but because of our server there's a lot of pets everywhere. I didn't even think that there's going to be an egg there. So that's a bit tricky. Now watch this. This egg up here with these branches as thin as they are, they look super difficult. But I'll show you why this is actually not as difficult as it seems. But check this out. You have to jump on this ledge. And you can easily fall down. The branches are much smaller than they used to be on the jungle area. And you have to move towards this bracket. 
once you reach here and you can no longer move forward easily that's how i know that i reach the point that i need and i slowly jump on that tiny little branch until i get here now once i get up here that's actually the most difficult part because the next part is i have to make sure that my head doesn't touch that area so i have to keep on jumping to make sure that nothing touches my head and I jump on there, jump on this platform, and that's it. That's the most consistent way that I can think of. Now, I've seen other people do this, and I watched a lot of YouTube to see if other people realize the way I do it. And how they do it is they either jump on a crystal or the platform, and then they jump here, and then here, and then either a branch or a tree, and then to the boulder, and then to other platforms. It seems too complicated, so my method hopefully will be much easier for you guys and i hope that you get a lot of practice and end up getting that egg now this is the last egg in the grotto area and it's up there and the only way for you to get it is if you wait for the super crystal to appear and you have to position yourself within the water area in the middle so you're right there when the crystal the biggest part of the crystal appears now watch this i'm standing right here this is the best spot and if your device or if your connection lags this super crystal can suck you in so i would recommend keep on jumping to make sure that doesn't happen now watch what i do and i'm gonna put this in slow motion because i have to go all the way a bit back towards the crystal and then gain a bit of momentum run and jump that's how i do it a lot of people they use other people to jump on their heads and then jump on the platform most of the time they plummet down but this is the best way in my opinion to do this and i think this is the only way and we're done that's all you need to know for the egg locations how to parkour stuff get on these obstacles find the easiest ways and i hope this was a lot of help for you guys if it did and made a difference let me know in the comments also if you want to join any of the giveaways which happens weekly giveaways which are robux giveaways all you have to do is follow the three steps in the description down below and don't forget to put your username and also if you haven't subscribed to me it would mean a lot if you can subscribe and if you can like the video and if i said all of this and it didn't make sense to you and you haven't listened to me i don't blame you because i can't believe what i'm seeing these are 12 shiny stormax belonging to gemma 1615 we've seen 12 shiny hive lords we've seen 12 shiny cerberus pets all from gemma 1615 and she is the number one player on the shiny leaderboard and collect all pets this is amazing and now on to the giveaway we said we're gonna do this weekly these are not the winners these are people who are picked per video per week so it depends if it's two videos that i have for collect all pets in a week or even three i'm gonna combine all those names that i get and i'm gonna put those names in a wheel where one person is gonna win robux so these are the two people that the picker picked and now we're gonna see who won the robux giveaway it's between bendy and john let's see now the winner is oh wow that looks super close it's john azyk i'm not even gonna try to pronounce that congrats to them guys i hope that you have a wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world and i'll see you all on the next one